So I needed to find a way to test a windshield wiper motor. Um, the wiper wasn't working when I turned it on and I removed the motor but didn't have a way to tell whether the motor itself was good visually. Uh, it appeared to be good so I wanted to share with you a simple way that I found to test it and what I did was I made this uh, the simple device so I could tap into the fuse box. The problem is um, if you go straight connecting your wiper motor to the battery you can short it out because it has uh, too many amps that are flowing in. Um, in the fuse box it should have already been broken down into lower amperages. So what I did was I took an old fuse, an old uh, mini blade fuse because that's the type that my vehicle uses and just uh, ground off the end of the fuse and I'll show you one of those um, over here. So I just took a spare fuse, just like this one, and uh, took it to our bench grinder over here, and just carefully ground down until we had uh, bare metal showing. You can see there are two, two contacts in there that extend all the way back through the fuse. Um, so that exposed those electrical points for me, and of course I, uh, I broke the uh, the fuse in the middle um, so that wire would not be uh, continuous between the two electrical contacts. At that point um, I just went ahead and soldered on this red wire and this green wire and just for extra strength then I put some tape uh, around those wires as a mold and I filled it with fiberglass resin let it harden overnight so now it's very uh, very durable. I can't break those uh, wires off accidentally. So let me show you how I'm going to use this to test my wiper motor. So first of all, you want to look in your uh, in your manual, find out where in the fuse box the uh, the wiper should attach. So for me, my fuse box is under here. It's going to be uh, 14. So I went ahead and I pulled the fuse. Uh, from slot 14 right there and I'm going to go ahead and hook in right to that slot okay so now I'm testing from the actual uh, wiper circuit the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my alligator clips I've got a red one I'll clip onto one side. I've got a black one that I'll clip onto the other side. Okay, so my leads there have now been connected. And I'm going to need to uh, turn on the electrical on the vehicle. And remember, if you want the electricity to flow, you're not just going to have to turn on the electrical, you're going to have to turn on the actual wiper as well. So now it knows to send the electricity. Now on the other side, um, I've got uh, a test motor that I was using because obviously uh, you wanna make sure your, your circuit works on a motor that you know works if that's possible. So I'm going to attach that one. And to the other side, to this blue connector, you can probably see here, To the other side, I'm going to just touch this, this connector, and we should see some turning. You see that motor turning? Okay, so that motor works. Now I've got my assembly from my, um, from my wiper motor. Apologize for the lighting in here. I'll try to give you better light there. So you can see there are two contacts. I'm going to hook on to one of them and touch to the other, but we're going to flip it over to actually see the motor working. So I'm going to flip it at this point and uh, we'll just reach underneath to touch off that, uh, that contact point. So you want to look for those threads to move as I touch that other contact you just saw. 
setting. Yep, you can see it there. So the motor does in fact work. So the, uh, the problem is somewhere else in my system, so I'm going to have to go through and see why it wasn't working before. Uh, but just seemed like a, uh, a solution for testing motor that I wasn't seeing other places and thought that I would pass that along. Thanks.